Hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Terribly sorry about the lack of upload recently. Um, just been really busy celebrating the end of the year and going out. Feeling a little bit under the weather for some parts of it. A little bit of eye strain, a bit of headaches. Maybe it's because I've been going out too much. But anyway, really nice day today. So I thought why not sit indoors and record a video rather than going outside being sociable and doing all the other shit I do. So we're currently up here on... Lofferton and the Isle of Skellige. Alright. Some places over here we've never even uh, looked at. We've been to Svornag. Mm. So we've got the Skellige Isles and we're going to need to go over to... I think we need to go back to probably go back to Kertrol the harbour and get a ship back to the mainland. Probably what we need to do. We're too far out to be able to just swim. Don't know why we can't try fast travel all the way there. And it's I miss something out. We'll have a look on the map again. Let's try that. Um, let's go back out to the space map. We've got the Skelliger Isles. We've got Care Morhen up there. Royal Palace in Fasima. We've got Light Orchard. We've got Velen. We've got Novigrad. Uh, once part of the Redanian. Um, Demurian Province. Yeah, we have no one there. Had this kind of river separating everyone. Well, let's just open that region map. And I believe we need to go back to Crow's Perch. So in his long search for Siri, his long search for Siri led Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the victim of a curse, was the key to finding the girl. Or the woman. I wouldn't say he's the ugliest man alive, he's just got a special look to him. A little bit of time to load into the uh, other region. There we go. The Baron's henchman. We're just going to tell the sergeant we need to take him. I guess the Baron's not in. Let's just run. There's no point taking the horse. Always causes trouble getting stuck on like, little bits of wood, fences, running people over. You know, all that extra shit. So, why the fuck not leave him? Seems like the sergeant has decided to take up home in his house. Pam, 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 Pam. Okay. Talk to the Let's sergeant. To you. About? Well, <laughs> we only have Uma, one option. I'm gonna take him with me. Gotta ask the Baron's permission. Sing it. He ain't here. Hmm. Not about to ask for anything. I'm telling you, you can try to stop me. But that'd be an error. A mortal one. Think you got me shaking in my boots? You sure hmm. as hell should be. Fine. Cripple's not worth no blood. 
See the groom. He ought to be glad to give him up. Bugger's been eating from the feed bags. And a pleasant journey to you both. Thank you kindly. Hmm, weirdo. Well, he didn't put up much of a fight. I was... Oh, I thought we might be actually trying to attack him. Um, but, you know, the Baron might be a weird person, but... It's true to his word anyway, so he won't mind. I'm taking to to Uma. There ain't a... Sergeant Hartle said I could. Bring him back though, won't you? Be awful dull without him. Hmm. No. Not about to bring him back. Open the door. Now. Didn't even need to put up a fight. Hey, little guy. Whoopsie. Now I'm gonna check something here. So So she will. Oops. Keep doing that. Completely accidental. Let's continue again. And I kind of got the guide in the background because I don't want to miss out anything I shouldn't. he likes mice, rats, don't know whether he wants to eat it or whether he wants to be friends with it, who knows. All we know is we're going to get more and finally. We're back. Back at the beginning of this long series. Looks like we got company. Elf Guardian battle mounts. What do you want? The Emperor's displeased with you. Then he'll mm -hmm. ask somebody else for help. The Emperor does not ask anyone for anything. You will ride with us to Vitsil. Sure about that? Don't even try. Fine. Lead the way. Okay. I have to go to Fazima, but I guess we don't have a choice. Don't know, we either. Uh, can we not just run off again? Really don't see the need for us to go. And the third army will sweep in from the west to take Bangli. If I may, Your Imperial Majesty. Our spies report that the garrison at Bangling consists almost wholly of mercenaries. Bribery, then. We stand to lose exactly no men in battle. And we stand to lose less time. Very well. Give the orders. Then set sail. As you wish. At once. Your Imperial Majesty. I did not have you brought here for an exchange of courtesies. Report. Hmm. As you wish, Your Majesty. Siri. Well, this man is the key to finding her. 
I give you three solid leads. Trails as fresh as morning dew. The aid of my spies and my court sorcerers. Yet in my daughter's stead, you bring me this... monstrosity? I hope you have more to say. For your sake. Listen. I'm looking for a needle in a haystack. A needle that at any moment can... It's a difficult task, I know this. Hmm. But I'll Listen to me. I rule the largest empire the world has ever known. I wage a war against the North, command men in tens of thousands, while at home the trade corporations and nobles seek to depose me. You cannot expect me to pity you the difficulty of your task. Well, this monstrosity might well be your daughter. Its body is the product of a curse. Someone hides inside it. Can you lift this curse? I've done a great deal of research, made inquiries, but to lift it, I would need to know the words used to cast it, and that. Raphael Ellen, Kedmil Fali, Radiv Don Eptened, Bandro Ithne Iacus. Dandelion told me. Siri talked to him about it. Hmm. At last, you provide a pleasant surprise. Lady Yennefer, my question stands. Yes. I, I believe I can. But I must... The details do not interest hmm. me. Geralt, can you've we? achieved precious little, yet admittedly more than the bumblers in my spy corps have. I give you half the promised reward. You will receive the other when you bring me Siri. Wouldn't count on that happening. That was no request. It was an order, Geralt. And I advise you well. Do not disobey me. This audience is over. Till the next. Now, will Yennefer come with us to get more? Nothing left to say. Damn. No more. Please. We've fallen out. Could have used some of that famous biting wit of yours. Where to disappear to? I mean, you were meek as a novice at Aratusa called into the dean's office. I merely know when I can indulge my pride and when I must swallow it. Unlike some others, I know. Ah, I see. So you show your claws to me because I'm a lowly witcher, but... Do you really wish to do this now, Geralt? We can fight another time, in another place, where the walls have no ears. It's a shame because so, we had some side quests to help out Yennefer and we had a more. decent relationship with her. Oh, and Geralt, forgive me, but I'm unable to teleport you, Uma, and Roach, so... Don't worry, we'll ride there. Never did like teleporting. Take care of yourself. Wait. Here. Probably better if you keep it. Of course. I'm off. <sighs> His long search for Siri it's left shame. Geralt to conclude that Uma, the ugliest man alive and the I can't, I can't first, believe that I loaded in and could Geralt have probably run up the road because I've, I've so basically read what the side mission is. Easy as anything. Just had to help her fix her telescope the thing. Um, and we didn't. But because we didn't. Well. We might have a chance. Close to the fortress. Someone 
someone's been slacking off. And there it is. I wonder if Yennefer will still be there. Because she has a similar interest to me. deformities, eyes, ears, nostrils, a hair, lip, and is this... Now, now, hmm. down. <laughs> and if it was right on one count, it sure isn't pretty. Yen's here already. And how? Huh. You two argue? Geralt, I understand she's a... Well, how do I put this? Emancipated, strong-willed woman. But do manners count for nothing? That's uh, Jennifer for She teleports in. Not even a nice to see. Jumps right into a we've a curse to live. There's this to do and that. So Eskel and Lambert get going. Then she went to the guest room to rearrange things. Through the bed off the balcony. <laughs> see where, so where is. is everyone? Eskel's hunting fork tails. Gotta nip that infestation in the bud. And since Yennefer needs to distill some ingredients from their organs, well, like they say, two birds, one stone. Lambert's still in the keep, preparing to venture into the mountains to enrich the phylactery with elemental power. Mm -hmm. And Yen? Assembling a megascope. Wanted my help, running around with some chirping contraption, searching for something. But I'm too old. Mm, maybe that. we have, maybe that's now. I should so let's go and help her. You say so, but don't go thinking she'll throw her arms around your neck. <laughs> See, she has. Let's go and help Yennefer fix this. We had this fight down here and then went up there and over with the race with Siri, and then the fuckers came up there. What is it out there? Just some beautiful, beautiful looking land that we can go all we can visit every part of it are we going on the raised platform or the lower let's do this, here we go we're going through the main door yep. so we've not been this far Maybe we have, but we can't really think about it. Yes, I think we have. We're going into are we going into the actual tower now? Definitely not been in here in The Witcher 3. Can't remember whether we came into this room in The Witcher 2. So there's Lambert. Um, Eskul is probably already out. But I think this must be the guest room. Nope, we're in a tower. We better keep running up these stairs until we find the room. She's in. God damn it, you piece of shit! I fucking made my. I fucking jumped. <coughs> Damned crystal! <coughs> you decide to blow us up? Geralt, I'm in no mood for jests, especially dull ones. No. Oh. Need to blow off steam? Go ahead, just not on me. 
Find some other target. I don't know, throw another bed off the balcony. Ha ha ha. So it's to be dull jokes after all. Rather have a serious conversation? We can do that if you prefer. I mean, what got into you? That determined to make Vesemir your enemy? No. I was determined not to sleep in the bed in which you swived Triss. Repeatedly. You know what? We should end this discussion before I say something I'll regret. Let's just ask her what's in her mind. Let's talk it through. You have to say. Is that so? Very well then. Listen, you shagged my friend for upwards of a year. I cannot know what your witch's code says on the matter, but ordinary folk would consider it obscene, base, vile. Try not to think about it. Stupid bed was making it difficult. That's that. Hmm. Let's say we're sorry. That was a mistake. I'm glad you realize it. A mistake engaged in regularly for more than a year. An apology well after the fact, but I'm glad. Let's try Very and get well. her. On to more pressing matters. We've a great deal of work to do. It's fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid. The other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. All right, hmm. I'll talk to them. Anything else? Yes. There's one other trifling matter. As you saw, my megascope's acting up in rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Let's keep the conversation going. to contact. Or is that a secret too? First off, stop pouting. Second, no, it's no secret. Ida Emian, remember her? No. How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Hmm. Exactly, okay. a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? Hmm. You're a sorceress, friends. The sage and not so sage. They've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. Hmm. All right. How do I find the source? Use this protest acquisitor. Test a, a test acquisitor. Sounds fancy, complicated. Hmm, Yet it's it does. Not so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? But I'm actually quite annoyed. We've, we had such a simple task of helping her, and it seems to have properly thrown her a new. Um, Away. Geralt. <coughs> Still to her a little bit more. about the past? About your time with the hunt? At times, I'm amazed we survived. Eridan's not usually one to leave witnesses behind. That's just it. He didn't. Lost my memory when I escaped the hunt. Ah, oh, yes. Your famous amnesia. You didn't have it? For a short time only. Once the Emperor's mages got their hands on me, my memory quickly returned. Hmm. It's... Still can't get something out of my mind. What? Hmm. We started talking about the past. But didn't finish. What happened in Northcombe? How do you go from being the Emperor's hostage to being his ally? One day, the door of my cell opened, and instead of seeing the usual officer, I saw Emir. Hmm. He promised to release me and grant me free reign of the Imperial Treasury, provided I did what he asked. He told you about Ciri, and you accepted his offer. Why? Shared aims make for strange bedfellows. I knew I had to find Ciri before Eridan did. 
And if any man had the power and the means to help me, it was the Emperor. Besides, hmm. once all said and done, he is her father. Hmm. So what did Gordon want? What want from you exactly? The same thing he wanted from you. You don't recall? Draw a blank on most of my time with him. We were bait, Geralt. Both of us. Eredin believed Ciri would come for us sooner or later and he would capture her. Fortunately, she didn't fall for it. Why didn't you look for me after you'd recovered your memory and your freedom? I assumed you would recover quickly and find me first. You had mages to help you. I was on my own. Mm -hmm. Well, not entirely. Besides, I knew you'd fled the hunt. Eredin would never have let you go. He'd erased my memory, but you escaped. It was wholly possible he hadn't had the chance with you. And there were your Witcher mutations. I expected they'd stave off any serious injury. Hmm. I got the last thing when to the hunt had you. Hope they didn't hurt you. Even if they did, I've no memory of it. The whole time's but a string of phantom images. Blood and fire. A wild chase through different worlds. Shrouded in fog. Though I do remember you coming for me, trading your life for mine. I hadn't the chance to thank you then. You'd have done the same for me. I'm touched by your certainty. But you've yet to tell me how you escaped them. Hmm. Wouldn't mind knowing that myself. There are times I remember rushing forward, red riders around me. Next thing I know, I'm in the woods at the foot of Kaer Morin. That's it. Seems like we've um Thanks, Yan. See you later. Seems like we've settled a few things. You know, she's not so mad at me. Realised that we actually saved her life at the end of the day, so let's get the procrisitor out. Potestaquisitor 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 out. Um right, there's a Bunch of stuff around here. Nothing here. What about down here? Nothing here. Okay. Let's actually follow the directions and go out here. Nothing here. Getting stronger. Weaker there. Is it one of these barrels, maybe? Ah, there you are. Ah, getting warmer, warmer, hot. Okay, we have a stash. Can we talk? How can we help? help you? Welcome, well, Siri. Looking for Siri, ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? Don't take care. Let's get the get uh, Yennefer's so long. thing working. Uh -huh. Getting warmer, warmer, hot. Just what is this? From there. What's in these crates? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert made them. No wonder the megascope doesn't work. 
right. Gotta get him out of here. I can do that. Rather you not make a mess of my shelves. Just keep an eye on Uma. Yes, Uncle Vesemir. Hmm. How goes it? Vesemir's not working you too hard, I hope. Uma. Thought so. Hmm. All done. You can go. Now, oh, let's check your conditioned reflexes. Hmm. We didn't do swipe a fucking sword at him. Let's get back upstairs and talk to Yennefer. <clears throat> I'm sure she'll be glad and maybe. Maybe you want to take us back in her realm of love. Doors here. He's not running particularly quick today. I think he might run a little bit faster. Not in that one. Seems to be working now. What was it? Dimeridium bombs. Lambert left them by the beds. Hmm. I suppose he had no idea they could interfere with my megascope. <laughs> you know, Lambert's not exactly an expert on megascopes, so. Please. Lambert is mean, not stupid. Enough. Ready for this conversation? Sure, you want me here? Members of the Lodge don't let just anyone in on their secrets, or so I've heard. Consider it a token of our trust. Now let's begin. And Geralt, behave, please. Didn't <laughs> you just say you trust me? Stop twisting my words. Capnel <laughs> Yennefer at Vengerberg. Quinn and Blade? Capnel and Severn. Why have you summoned me? We've come up against a curse. One we must lift. It was uttered in a dialect of elder speech unfamiliar to me. I see. The words of the curse? Va fel elen, ked mil foli, gled of dawn ebtenid, bondro isne yaks. Oh god, she stepped back. Take it you've heard the words before. Yes, in legends, of the kind that do not end happily. Can you help us with the curse? To a degree, Agnes de Glanville's incantation, combined with Elder's Triangle, inverted, of course. They are your only possible recourse. But I cannot guarantee that even they hmm. will suffice. Thank you, Ensevern. Vafel. That does not conclude our conversation. something in return. If I may, Quinblade, I'd like to request. Stop guessing. Just listen. The time of the white frost and white light is nigh. And the world will perish amidst ice. I know Ithleen's prophecy. I don't doubt you know it. But do you understand it? Hmm. The nope. Elder Blood can initiate the final age. The time of the end. Or stop it. Remember this, Gwynblade, for you will be the one to determine if the seed bursts into flames. <laughs> all in all, interesting conversation. What now? You can start by apologizing for acting like a boar, despite my asking you not to. Sorry, it's just when Ida started in with that patronizing tone. You decided to prove she was completely justified to adopt that attitude. Well done, Geralt. Bravo. Oh, oh, enough. Finish whatever it was you and the boys were planning to do. Then we'll begin. Geralt. We need to we need to talk more about her, but she won't let me. Thanks, Jan. Um, See you later. Let's. Well, what we're going to be doing, guys, we're going to be ending the episode here, so thank you ever so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, leave a comment, 
uh, suggest anything, ask questions, that's all what we're here for. Links in the description of my Twitter and Twitch as always, guys. Thanks ever so much for watching and 